Okay, boys and girls, this week we are going to be starting what's called a reader's theater. And we're going to be getting our reader's theater from a book called The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. Has anybody read this book before? Raise your hand if you've read this one. It's a good one. It's really funny. Okay, put your hands down. Raise your hand if you've even heard the story of, the regular story of the three little pigs. Everybody's heard that story, right? Um, what happens in the story of the three little pigs? Does anybody want to give us a summary? Who are the three little pigs? What do they build their house out of? Who comes and does what to them? Aaron, would you like to tell us? Blow their house down. Right. There's three pigs. One of them builds his house out of straw. straw. Another one builds his house out of sticks. sticks. And the last one builds his house bricks. out of bricks. bricks. Now, who comes to blow the house down? The big bad wolf. Everybody calls that wolf the big bad wolf. Well, you know what? I'll tell you. That wolf, he got fed up. He got sick and tired of everybody calling him the big bad wolf. So he decided to tell his own story. And this is called the true story of the three little pigs, told from the perspective of the wolf, who says, dude, I'm not big and bad. Come on, it's not my fault. Let me tell you the real story. It's those little pigs. Those are the little big bad pigs. I'm not the big bad wolf, all right? so. We are going to do a play that's based off of this book. It's called The Reader's Theater. All right, so go ahead, boys and girls, if you want to page through your text right now and just see where your parts are. Your parts are already highlighted, <coughs> and it's front and back. All right, and go ahead and turn back to the front page. It's the one with the little picture of the book on the front. All right. Now, like I said, this is the true story of the three little pigs, okay? So the wolf in this play, who's playing the wolf? Cody, you're playing the wolf. All right. The wolf in this story, he's trying to defend himself, okay? He's trying to make his claim. He's trying to say, hey, I'm innocent. I didn't do it, all right? That's the wolf in this story. Raise your hand if you are an officer. Good, guys. Marissa, good. All right. If you're an officer, that's another word for a police officer, policeman, policewoman, all right? You're the kind of person that's just trying to get the facts of the story, all right? You're trying to figure out whose fault it really is, who's really the one to blame. So you're serious, always taking notes, always trying to find out you're curious. You're trying to find out the real deal, okay? And let's see, who else have we got? Pigs, one, two, and three. All right, there's my pigs. And Becca, good. All right, the pigs, if you'll notice when we get into this story, the pigs have a little bit of an attitude. <laughs> All right, because the pigs are also trying to tell their side of the story. They're trying to defend themselves, too. The pigs get picked on by the wolf a lot, so they're always trying to, say, they're always trying to defend themselves against this big, bad wolf. Uh, finally, if you are a narrator, raise your hand. All right, good. Who else? Good, good. All right. Now, the narrator part is very important because the narrators are the people that really try to make, like, try to hook the audience, try to make the story really interesting, really exciting, okay? So they're going to be dramatic when they read. They're going to have a lot of expression. And we'll talk in just a minute about our expression, okay? We're trying to make the story exciting because, you know what, if Aaron stands there reading as the narrator and he says, Way back in Once Upon a Time time, a wolf was making a birthday cake for his dear old granny. See, look, Aaron's already talking because he stopped listening to me 10 minutes ago, okay? But as a narrator, if you're really trying to hook your audience, you're saying, way back in Once Upon a Time time, a wolf was making a birthday cake for his dear old granny. All right, you got to put a lot of expression. That's your job as the narrator, all right? So, also I'd like to introduce to you all up here the wow o meter Now, when we're doing reader's theater, we're going to be focusing on two things. Your expression and your accuracy. Now, the accuracy is part is really easy. That's just getting your words right. And we'll work on that with practice. That's just going to come in time. But your expression part, 
is the part that's talking about your emotions, how excited you are when you read your part, how suspicious you are when you read your part. Your voice is going to get loud and it's going to get soft and it's going to get happy and sad, deep and high <coughs> pitched, okay? So, the more we get to practice, the more um, I will be rating you guys on the wow meter okay? One on the wow meter says, are you even awake? <laughs> you're putting me to sleep here. And all the way on a perfect 10 on the wow meter says you're putting a lot of good expression and emotion into your reading. I'm going to start off by reading uh, in scene one, the part of the wolf. So if you need to, take your finger, find the wolf's part, and listen to me read. Then we're all going to try reading it together, OK? You sit right there. Good, we're all set. OK, so this is the wolf. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. 